What's up everybody? This is Brian. And I'm Logan. And this is Tops. Heck yeah, I yeah. am. And this is Bottoms. Wow. wow. And this is Chubbo. Yes, we're doing a deck profile on a Sunday. Why? Because we felt like it and because you deserve it. Mwah, kisses. So for those of you guys who may not know or may be brand new to the channel, today's a very big day for us because we've been saving up for a computer for a very, very long time. And we don't mean like any computer. We mean like a gaming streaming computer. So today we are going to be assembling that with some of our friends. Which means that this week we're going to be announcing a brand new stream schedule where we'll actually be able to play you guys on Dueling Book and have better streams that aren't garbage quality. And it's going to be a good time. We're hoping that it'll be a nice advantage for the channel. And we wanted to thank you guys for everyone who's donated for everyone who's supported us up until this point because we haven't been able to get a computer until now and it's only because of you guys that we were able to get it so we're super excited to be able to have better streams and more time with y'all so in today's video we are going to be covering probably one of our like favorite decks mm -hmm. this is a deck that like kind of fell out of favor with one of the more recent ban lists because obviously colossus got banned and it's thunder dragon so for any of you guys who have seen our previous thunder dragon build this is kind of similar it's just an adaptation to that obviously dragoon has come out we are still playing the chaos engine but this is just one of those really really awesome decks because it plays through so much it can go first it can go second and it can just otk your opponent no matter what it does and now that dragoon is a legal card that we can play it certainly isn't colossus and nothing will ever replace our purple lizard son but you know <laughs> what he's a fusion he's big he's a pain in the butt to get rid of so you know what it's kind of like colossus all in the end i guess we're just gonna we're just gonna go through denial until this feels right okay <laughs> but before we get into this profile if you guys are not already a subscriber feel free to go down and hit that subscribe button throw this video a like and comment your favorite way to out dragoon Goon. I want to I want to hear all those ways to out it because you know what everyone's complaining about it But I want to know what you're doing to get rid of it. Tell me your spice. Tell me tell me things fam We also have an Instagram at crush cards YGO. We're on there all the time answering messages posting posts posting stories It's a good time. We really like the Instagram. We also have a super wholesome discord community that I highly recommend you check out I think we had a thousand members. I really do. I think we're there, but it's really fun We Photoshop tops all the alpaca siblings onto things we hang out We talk about life anime food the things it's fun It's discord. I'm in there all the time and then last but not least if you want to further support the channel We have a Patreon Patreon. It's fun. Bloopers go up every month. We do deck building, dual sessions, there's merch, there's a whole bunch of stuff. It's a good time. Feel free to check it out. And the side decks will be up there, including this one. It's super spicy, so make sure you guys check it out. But if not, we're just happy you're here. So thanks for hanging, team. We love you. Kisses. Mwah. All right, so with that being said, let's get straight into this awesome Thunder profile. Chaos and Thunder. Two things that are my life. It's raining. That's all. It's just raining. So starting off with the best normal summon in the deck, we are playing triple copies of Aloof Lupine. For any of you guys who do not know, Aloof Lupine is when this card is summoned, you can banish one monster from your hand as the cost. And then you can banish one monster from your deck with the same type. So you basically go like plus three with this card. Whack. Yeah, a lot of people are choosing to play Battery Man Solar now that Dragoon is out because you can end on like Appaloosa, Dragoon, and like a bunch of other negates. But like, you're not ending on any Thunder Dragon cards. And like being a Thunder Dragon deck, and like we want to have Titan, we want to be able to search interruption with like discard effect so i feel like aloof is just the better option for that still you're more than welcome to change it up and play whatever starter card you want but aloof lupine is just obviously the best one in our opinion and what i really like about aloof is even if your opponent ashes or like veilers or in perms the aloof you still banish for cost so you can still get one effect if you banish like a matrix or any of your other thunder dragon cards so you still get something even if this doesn't go through and then moving off into our thunder package we're playing triple copies of thunder dragon matrix this is a ratio that a lot of people are are like in and outs between it's two or three we like to play three because opening it is really good it can be a normal summon and whenever this card leaves the field or is banished you can basically just search another copy of itself from your deck to your hand and then it has a secondary effect where quick effect you can discard this card and target one thunder monster you control as the cost and then it gains 500 attack so this is one of the ways that we trigger our titan on our opponent's turn it is one effect not both effects so be sure that you keep that in mind when you go to activate this if you like normal summon it to link it off you can't use the hand effect the same turn but that's normally okay because you're just going to try to search this for your follow-up for your opponent's turn and then the card that loves to be in my hand every opening hand in multiples is thunder dragon our Vanillas. sweet boy so if you don't know what thunder dragon does you discard him and then you can add up to two thunder dragon from your deck to your hand wow it's a searcher but you're gonna open two so yeah don't get your hopes up if for you're that like one. me you're only gonna be able to search one because you already have two in your hand <laughs> every game but he's just a free effect for a thunder dragon and he's good for titan on your turn but. 
Yeah, and you're also it. playing like a bunch of discard effects. So like if you open one and you search two, now you've mm -hmm. got two free cards to discard. So yeah. it's really cool. And then when you go into fusion, you can just dump them back into your deck. So it recycles mm -hmm. itself really well. Really, really good. And then arguably now that Colossus is banned, we're playing the best Thunder Dragon, which is Thunder Dragon Dark. Dark this guy go. is, uh, the secret rares look so good, by the way. So Dark is a quick effect to discard himself and then add another copy of himself from your deck to your hand. So that is another way to trigger Titan. Or if you don't activate that, the other effect is if this card leaves the field and is sent to the graveyard or is banished, you get to add any Thunder Dragon card from your deck to your hand. So you could be spells or you could just search any Thunder Dragon monster also. He's literally just your whole engine. That's it. He literally searches everything. So best point. And he's the same stats. It's our good old boy. Because he's the dark version. Vanilla. I've been staring at him for the last two minutes. He's literally just like the dark version. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought he was like just his own special emo boy, but he's just the dark version of Thunder Dragon. It's okay. He's still my little goth boy. Ra. No, that's an Egyptian god card. <laughs> And then we're playing triple copies of Thunder Dragon Roar. We max Roar. out on Roar because you want to open Roar with a loop. So you obviously just want to have the highest potential of seeing this card opening hand. And then if this card is banished or sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon any Thunder Dragon monster from your deck in defense position. Yeah, he was always really good for your uh, Colossus play, but you know, it's okay. Yeah, oh well. It doesn't happen anymore. He does have a discard effect where you can discard him and add to your hand one of your Thunder Dragon cards that's banished or in your graveyard except Roar. So I mean, it's cool. You can summon Roar off of Roar's effect because the second effect doesn't say you can't use Roar, but the first effect you can't actually add Roar back. It's cool if you want to like add chicken or like add dark back to your hand, but like you don't really use his first effect very often. Speaking of, we're playing the one Thunder Dragon Hawk. This is our chicken. We call him Chicken, chicken Nugget. Chicken Nugget is good boy. You don't really have to play this card if you want to. You can. You don't have to. This deck is at 42 because we are running three additional bricks now and this deck draws a ton. So we chose to play this card still because if you can banish this card off of something, you can just take any number of cards in your hand, shuffle them back into your deck, and then draw that number of cards too. So yeah, it helps you get bricks out of your hand. He's basically just a really good mulligan and I mean it feels like it wouldn't be a Thunder Dragon deck if you didn't play at least one Hawk. We'll just call it the OCG Hawk. Yeah. It's fine. It's and then like point. mid to late game too, you can discard him to special summon any oh. Thunder Dragon from your grave or banish back to your side of the field too. Man, I miss Colossus. Yeah, me too. Don't you chicken nugget? And then moving off into our chaos package, we are playing both the white and the black dragon. When white is sent from the field of the graveyard, it searches black. When black is sent from the field of the graveyard, it searches white. They can't be normal summon or set. They have to be special summon. Black banishes a light to special. Light to special summons by banishing a dark. You guys know exactly what these cards do. They're free extenders. They're free level fours. They search other cards. They replace themselves. These cards are just so good in this deck. And they trigger all your thunder dragon effects by banishing them. Same goes for chaos Valkyria. We are opting to play chaos Valkyria at two. Once again, if you do want to drop this down from a 42 card deck to a 40 or a 41 card deck. You can drop this to one and drop the chicken nugget. Valkyria is really good because it's a level four monster that special summons itself from the hand by banishing a light or dark monster. So you can just trigger any of your thunder dragon effects if you need and it's searchable off of chaos space. It also has a secondary effect where if this card is banished, you can like foolish another card, but you can't activate that card. So it can be a pseudo extender, but in this specific deck, we don't really utilize that. It's only good if you're trying to get into another card in this deck, like perhaps the Chaos Creator or Levianir and you don't have enough lights or darks in your graveyard somehow and you just kind of need to dump something to get like the body but you'll have enough don't worry. Yeah this deck this deck puts things in the graveyard no problem. And then moving off into our Chaos Boss Monsters we're playing the one copy of the Chaos Creator and then the one copy of Chaos Dragon Levianir. Oh my god is that an ulti Levianir? Oh my god it looks so clean. Man it's probably one of my favorites. Levianir is one of my favorite card arts in general so as an ulti god I love this Yeah this card looks really good we don't play this version. Yeah we don't Play it. We're just, we're just we're purely flexing, flexing the real versions, right? <laughs> yeah. Confession, we're guilty. We were like, no, we gotta flex the ulti. We're, yeah. we're guilty. But both of these cards have the same exact effect where they banish lights and darks to special summon themselves, so that's really great. They are all searchable off of chaos space. So Chaos Creator, one of my favorite cards in the deck now, must be special summoned from your hand by banishing a light and dark monster from your graveyard. And then you can target three banished monsters with different names, special summon one of them, and then place the rest on the bottom of your deck. So not only do you get to banish some of your Thunder Dragon, trick of their effect you also get to special summon another one and then recoup a bunch of resources 
put it back into your deck. So like, mm -hmm. this card's insane. Mm -hmm. And then Loving Nair, as everyone knows, you can banish lights and or darks, and then you have the different effects. If you banish three lights, you special summon a monster from your graveyard in defense position. Three darks, you shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand into the deck, and then both lights and darks, you destroy up to two cards on the field. These are just both really, really good level eight extenders, and both of them are searchable off of Chaos Space, but the Chaos Creator is searchable off of your Thunder Dragon Fusion because it is indeed a Thunder Monster. So that is just really, really cool. I love how Konami keeps giving us all these eights that are Colossus. It's so nice. <laughs> Isn't that so thoughtful of them? And now for the hand trap lineup, we're playing Triple Phantasm Dazzle, who's now ridiculously cheap. Congratulations oh. to the Megatons. And then because this is a chaos deck, we are playing three dark hand traps, so we want to complement that with three light hand traps. Boop. Phantasm is really good if you lose the dice roll and you get to go second, because it helps you put some of your bricky cards, you know, like all three Thunder Dragons that you drew first turn, <laughs> back into your deck and then draw some more cards. It's really cool. And it also is a dark for Allure of Darkness, so if you don't need it and you're going first, it's still okay. It's a dark monster that you can discard off of any of your other effects. So having this card going first still isn't that bad. And then Effect Veiler is just the best light hand trap right now. And Veiler deserves some appreciation. You know, he just compliments this deck really well, so why not? We always want to make sure this deck can go second, so but uh And then we are playing everybody's favorite new package that is going to show up in <laughs> most Rogue oh, and even boy. some meta decks. Our one Dark Magician, our one Red Eyes Black Dragon, and our one copy of Red Eyes Fusion. It's a common. <laughs> yeah, our supers haven't arrived yet, but that's okay. I really like this card art for Dark Magician. I know this is like, a, this is what the Arcana one or the mm -hmm. Arcana. It's really cool. I really like this card art a lot. And this Red Eyes Black Dragons, you know. Yeah, it says Black Dragon, not yeah. B Dragon. Yeah, so, so we're like, cool. this is the cool one. This just feels really like, I don't know. I keep saying goth and emo, but like this, yeah. is, this deck just makes me feel that type of way. I don't know. <laughs> if you draw these cards, it's not the worst thing because you can still fuse from your hand via the Red Eyes Fusion effect, but drawing the Red Eyes Fusion is not really fun. So that's why we tried to play the Chicken Nugget in this deck so that we can mulligan it back into the deck, still search off of our Anaconda by sending it to the graveyard, activate the effect, and then get our Dragoon for free. Moving on. Oh wow, speaking of fusions, we're playing double copies of Thunder Dragon Fusion. This card is like- Card's bonkers. Yeah, this card's are really good. You fusion one Thunder Dragon Fusion Monster from your extra deck by shuffling fusion materials listed on it into your deck from your field, your graveyard, and or face up banish zone. This card literally just recurs everything and then on a separate turn that you did not activate the actual fusion, you can banish this card to search any Thunder Monster from your deck to your hand. So like, has some really cool synergy with our side deck, which is on Patreon, <laughs> which will be up tomorrow. Oh, by the way, if you're not subscribed, feel free to hit subscribe and the notification bell and like this video. It's really cool and I can see you, so. Then probably like the most busted card in the entire deck right now is Triple Copies of Chaos Space. This card is ridiculous. It basically gets you like half of your engine and jump starts the other half of your so engine. Good. So this card says you can send one light or dark monster from your hand to the graveyard and then add one light or dark monster that cannot be a normal summon or set from your deck to your hand with a level from four to eight with a different attribute than the monster that you've discarded. In this deck, if you send a light, you're searching a dark. If you send a dark, you're searching a light. It's super duper generic because you play nothing but lights and darks. And then it has the even more busted effect where in the same turn, you can activate both of these effects. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one of your banished light or dark monsters that cannot be normal summon slash set. Place that monster on the bottom of your deck, then draw a card. This card allows you to recycle resources, draw a card, get stuff into your graveyard, and search light and dark monsters. Yeah, it literally is just like, hi, uh, turbo your deck now, please? If you guys don't have this card, feel free to go check out our links in the description description box down below. We have a TCG affiliate link. You guys can go pick these up while they are still relatively cheap. As we just said, this card does five things in this deck it's and it's going to be able to do five things in other decks. Go pick this card up before it skyrockets in value because two chaos will not have any more printings after this unlimited. So get it before it's gone. Yeah, this card does like 18 things. It's almost overwhelming how much it does when you draw it. You're like, oh my God, what do I want to do? Because you have so many choices, which is why I like this deck is so nice now. And then for draw power, we have triple copies of a of Darkness, so aka good. Pot of Greed. If anyone wants to send me some ulties, that'd be really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, don't send us ulties. We do have a PO box though. <laughs> But if you don't know what Allure of Darkness does, you draw two cards, banish Dark Monster from your hand, and if you don't do that, well, you can kiss your hand goodbye, it goes to the graveyard. But guess what? You're playing pretty much all darks and a couple lights in this deck, so you should be okay. Unless and you open the three Thunder Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part is this will trigger your Thunder Dragon mm -hmm. effect, so you not only go plus two, mm -hmm. you go plus an additional one, because you'll get an additional awful. body, so this is like a plus 18. It's so 
cool. Oh, I love this card. Allure is so good. And then for our Saki one ounce, we're playing the one copy of Instant Fusion because it's an extender going first or a board breaker going second. And then we're playing the one copy of Gold Sark because it's basically Foolish Burial on steroids in this deck. It also literally just says combo off, Thunder. Mm -hmm. Do your thing. And then the one copy of Monster Reborn. Once again, going first, going second. This card just does so much for your deck. And that's it for the main deck. Let's move on to the extra. Woo! We did kind of have like one flex spot in the deck, and that is the one copy of Link Karibo. This can just help you get your Thunder Dragon Matrix off the field. If you have no other way to do so, and you need like a light in your graveyard, you could search another copy of itself, and you still have a body on board. You could choose to cut this for anything else. And then we are playing the one copy of Relinquished Anima, because it is one level one monster, except a token, and you can just target one face of card on the field, equip that card to this monster. You, it's, it's literally Thousand Eyes Restrict, the Link monster. It just has to point to the card. So if your opponent summons anything, in zones two or four, you get to suck it up for free. And then we are playing the brand new hot copy of the secret rare. Oh my god, it's IP. I love IP. Don't you triples? Yeah. We all love IP. Who doesn't love IP? She's perfect, she's prismatic, and she's perfect. That's all I got to say. <laughs> like someone on your opponent's turn, everyone knows what this card does. Then we're playing the one busted copy of Verte Anaconda. We were actually playing this before, but this just gets even better now with Red Eyes Fusion. It just looks like a hand that's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know why, every time I look at Verte Anaconda, I'm just like, who designed this? It's hideous. You pay 2,000 life points, and then you send a fusion card from your deck to your graveyard. It has to be a normal or quick play spell card that has fusion or polymerization in the name, which is Red Eyes Fusion. Wow. Or, if you really, really don't feel like you need it, you can also just send Thunder Dragon Fusion or Instant Fusion. So, this card has so much utility in the deck, it helps you get out your Thousand Eyes Restrict, Thunder Dragon Titan, or your Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Or, if you just don't care about ban lists, you could just bring out Colossus. It's fine. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna yell at you. Just, I'm just kidding, don't do that. The only stipulation is after you activate that effect, you cannot special summon anything for the rest of the turn. So make sure this is the last thing that you do. And then moving on. To my dreams. We have the Nightmare Package. Wow. Wow. Super cute. Did you not know what these do? Well, they pop back through and they shuffle stuff back in the deck. You can co-link them, draw things, that's cool. These are really good going second too, because if Phoenix is co-linked, you get to draw a card, so that's really good. It just replaces itself. And then Unicorn allows you to get into your next card, which is Access Code Talker going first. This card is just ridiculous. You get to set up your Unicorn play with your IP. And then because you'll have Unicorn on your field when it comes back to your turn, you just have any additional extender. Go into Access Code Talker. It's now 53 300. You can banish a bunch of link monsters with different attributes. Pop cards can't be responded to. And this card's ridiculous. Like, this card is super duper good. And then another flex spot in the deck, but we are playing the one copy of Appaloosa Bow oh, of the, the Goddess. The Ultra, yeah. by the way, which is now available in the Mega Tins. How fun. We love accessibility. And off of our TCG affiliate link in the link in the description box down below. Oh my goodness. For more utility, we are playing the one copy of Tornado Dragon and then the one copy of Abyss Dweller. Shuts off Graveyard, pops back row. They're just like, you don't need these cards. Cards, but like we have abilities to make rank for so these are the two most generic I feel like. I'm gonna cow. <laughs> just flying away. I don't know. I just do look at tornado dry. Sometimes I look at cards and I'm like, oh well. Cow. And then the rest of which are our fusion package. We are playing the 1,000 Eyes Restrict because it allows us to go second and steal cards. The one copy of Kaminari Attack because it is a great instant fusion target. We can banish it to special summon our double copies of Thunder Dragon Titan by banishing Kaminari and then a Thunder Monster from our hand. And then, of course, we are playing the one copy Aww. of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Everyone's favorite boy right now. Look at him. Oh, he's such a big pain in the butt. So for anyone who does not know what this incredibly broken card does, it says, cannot be destroyed by card effects. Neither player can target this card with card effects. Right cool. there, well, that sounds like it's not fun. That already sounds like a good time. <laughs> it's not fun. And then during your main phase, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. And if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. Mm, that sounds really nice. That's just like, like that's unfair. Like, okay, cool. I'm just gonna pop a monster for sh for fun. And the worst part about that is it doesn't even target. <laughs> like it literally just says, during your main phase, destroy a monster your opponent controls and if you do inflict damage. Mm. That's awful. Oh, wait, it gets worse. You can use this effect the amount of times up to the number of normal monsters used in this card's fusion summon. So if you use the red eyes and the dark magician, you get to use that effect twice. Popping two cards, non-targeting. And burning. Burning twice. Ouch. 
bro. And then, <laughs> once again, quick effect. Once per turn, when a card or effect is activated, quick effect, discard a card, negate the activation, and if you do destroy the card. If so, this card gains a thousand attack. That's permanent. Wow. This card becomes 4K, negate stuff, non-targeting pops two cards and burns, can't be targeted himself, and can't be destroyed by card effects. Like, we know Konami likes these legacy decks, but Dark Magician did not need this card. <laughs> but I would argue he did. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Oh, this not. seems this seems like it'll be a good time for people. Oh. I do like the character design though. Like Red Eyes' little head is like on like where his little hat is, and like I don't know, it's a good looking card. The but art man, is cool. At least you get to look at something pretty while you're getting whomped. Side your kaiju's friends. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. All right, so we're gonna do a test hand now. That's really fun because we like to show off what the decks can do, and we like to put them in a realistic setting, like you know, actually shuffling it, not just being like, here are the cards you actually need to combo. <laughs> we're gonna be real about Here's it. My four point five card combo. Yeah. Also, look at this really. <laughs> old it's not a field center but like i got this made way way back when we started playing before there was a channel and before there was anything and we got this for him what was it christmas yeah christmas it was christmas Super and cute. it's like us but it was halloween and it's a dual boo boo dragon it's so cute it's so tacky but like thanks to whoever on ebay made this for me that was really cool <laughs> it was so long ago <laughs> all right so we're gonna shuffle these real quick and then we're gonna ask our opponent to cut but before we do that we just want to draw your attention to this really sick banjo kazooie map bam, bam, shout bam, out bam, to bam. all my nintendo 64 fans this was my favorite map i think we've ever been uh gifted over here the links are in the description box down below for pow manga mats it is absolutely incredible they do all custom manga mats feel free to check out their links and we have a discount code it's crush manga 10 so with that being said opponent do the honors all right let's here's to opening two thunder dragon all right we're off phantasm basil chaos space allure of darkness effect veiler reborn not the best hand <laughs> but let's see what we can do well you've got allure and you've got phantasm we're going first right yeah and all you've right. got chaos space all right, so we're going to do Allure. As Logan said, we do have a... Whoa, whoa there, friends. Whoa. Okay, we're going to Allure. Draw two. Ban oh, oh, man. Oh, man, that's really good. <laughs> we're going to banish the dark. Bye, bud. And then that'll trigger. We can search any Thunder Dragon card. We're going to search our vanilla Thunder Dragon here. And then we're just going to activate him, grabbing the other two copies that didn't actually want to show up in our opening hand crazy now i'm sure you're not used to seeing a uh seven card hand but here is our seven card hand we are going to discard our thunder dragon for our chaos space and then we're going to search a dark monster we'll search our black dragon collapse serpent and of course now we can just special summon the collapse serpent by getting rid of our thunder dragon in our graveyard and banishing it now we do have multiple choices here we can just normal summon the veiler or we did open reborn so we could just reborn the thunder dragon we want to have as much interruption on our opponent's turn as possible so we're going to keep the veiler and we're just going to reborn our thundy dundy bundy guy over here and now we will link summon for two we'll special summon our verte anaconda and then that will trigger the black dragon because it did leave the field to search our white dragon wyver buster so now we can just banish the black dragon here to special summon our white dragon and now we can activate the chaos space by banishing it to shuffle back the dark onto the bottom of our deck and then draw a card oh, oh my, my god, god. <laughs> That's freaking insane. Okay, so uh, Gold Star oh, wow. is like one of the best extenders in this entire deck and starter card. So we're Man. just going to now activate our Gold Sark. So Gold Sark will banish the Roar and then Roar will activate to special summon oh. our little baby Matrix from our deck to our side of the our field. Our sweet, zappy, glowy boy. And now, this is probably my favorite part. I love when this happens. We can now link for two again. Oh. Oh, it's best girl. Into Hi. an IP Mascarena, and now White Dragon will trigger because we put the black back ah, in our deck. Isn't it so good? And this left the field, so we get to search another copy of itself. Oh my god, I love the way Yu-Gi-Oh works sometimes. It's called Synergy. Look it up. Bam, look at this six-card hand. Wow, I love the decisions we make sometimes. And now we are going to activate our Thunder Dragon Fusion by shuffling back one vanilla two vanillas because we want to have more pops on our next turn and then dark once again because if we do draw a dark we have more targets in our deck to search so we'll shuffle three bye guys special summoning our thunder dragon Hi, titan bud. and now we have five cards in hand this is re freaking ridiculous we can activate our anaconda pay 2000 and then we can send our red eyes fusion which will send our red eyes and our dark magician from our deck to special summon red wow. eyes dark dragoon oh directly from our extra deck for free as if like 
your opponent's not going to play enough on their turn, you also have a Phantasmite and an Effect Veiler and a Titan Pop. Yeah, the That's Titan like, Pop. <laughs> it's so bonkers. Like, they're not playing. And you have IP and, oh my god. Yeah, IP can basically go into Unicorn for a spin and you'll have more than enough discard targets. Or you can just go into Appaloosa for two to provide two additional <laughs> monster negates. Like, it's so cool that we opened up the two hand traps because now you can just utilize it. It's so Which wow. just goes to show, for what it's worth, we basically got this entire board by not using using these two cards. Yeah. And then we search discard fodder for our Titan and we search just regular discard fodder for either a Unicorn and for Dark Dragoon with having two hand traps in hand still. And then on your next turn, you can banish the fusion to add a thunder to your hand. Like that's just, that's nuts. Yeah, so on your follow-up turn, you can just banish the thunder dragon fusion, get the creator, banish two cards, lights and darks, special summon another card, get another body. And then if you went into Unicorn, you just get a free access code for game. Like this, this board is almost unbreakable. Yeah. And even to those who will say, oh, I have Dark Ruler no more. Like, okay, still, you have two hand traps in hand. Like, yeah. all right, so you normal summon? No. You're going to try and do anything? Okay, we have Phantasmae. We get to draw more things. Like, I don't know. I just don't see a valid argument for why this is not an excellent board and hand. And your follow-up's insane. So I think this is pretty darn good for Thunder at this point in the in the world. <laughs> so that will do it for our Chaos Thunder Dark Dragoon Turbo Dot Deck. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever this conglomeration is. We hope you guys did enjoy it, though. We really, really love this deck. It's super fun, super consistent, plays through a ton of stuff, goes first, goes second, does the whole gambit. So feel free to put in the comment section down below what you like, what you didn't like, what you would change, and just know that we're always open to constructive criticism. But we really do feel good about this deck, and we hope you guys like it, too. We know we have a lot of Thunder players here in the community, and it's super cool, so we always try to update the decks as often as we can whenever there's any support, and this definitely was some solid support for the deck. So we hope Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Be sure to like the video, share it with your friends. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you have an awesome Sunday and stay tuned. We will be announcing our new streaming schedule this week at some point. We will have the computer set up today, so we're really excited. We'll get to play with y'all on Dueling Book and all sorts of fun stuff. So stay tuned. But in the meantime, we love you, you matter, and I hope you have a super Sunday, team.